Hey there, I'm Apple Kreider with Investing Simple. In this comparison, we're breaking down the two popular investing platforms, M1 Finance versus E-Trade. These are two very popular platforms built for very different audiences. So in this video, we're gonna be showing you the core features of each platform, what sets them apart from each other, and then which one is going to be best for you. Now, hopping right into things, E-Trade is an established brand that has been around since the 80s. They've got over $350 billion in assets, and they have a lot of trust built with their clients. Clients. M1 Finance, on the other hand, is the new kid on the block, so to speak. They've only got about $3 billion under management at the moment, and they appeal to a much younger audience that is looking for a much more simple and streamlined interface. Now, both apps are 100% free. This means there is no monthly cost. There is no commissions, none of that stuff. It is totally free to use both of these platforms, but let's dive into the features that set them apart from one another. So starting off with M1 Finance, this platform is going to be best for longer term investors that want to have a somewhat stable portfolio over time. That is what the app is kind of built for. It's very simple for those users to use this app. Now, on top of that, you'll also get a free $30 sign up bonus when you use the link down in the description below. So if you want to support the channel, that is a great way to do so. So the platform in a nutshell is built on this idea of so-called investment pies. And instead of individually buying stocks, so you want to buy one share of Apple, one share of Ford, one share of Amazon. Instead of doing that, you create this investment pie where you say, I want 25% of my portfolio to be an Apple stock. I want 25% to be in Ford stock, I want 25% to be an Amazon, whatever. And you build out this pie and then you just put money into the pie. It's automatically allocated according to your percentages to keep you at the allocation that you are going for. Now, clearly this is a bit different from most of the other investing apps out there. And that is why it is best for longer term investors that want that stable portfolio over time. You're not looking to change things very often. While you can change things, you can always add and subtract your pies. You can create multiple pies. It's very easy to just automate it. So personally what I do is I've got my M1 finance account. I've got my pie built out. Every two weeks, some money just gets pulled straight from my checking account, goes right into my M1 Finance investing, and I check on it maybe every couple of months, but it's a very passive way for me to continue to invest on the side. Now, within M1 Finance, they've got taxable accounts, they've got retirement accounts, and they've got margin accounts. So with your traditional taxable account, basically what you're looking at is your standard investment account. There are no tax benefits or any frills like that. With the retirement account, you're looking at either a Roth IRA, a SEP IRA, or a traditional IRA. These are all going to have tax benefits if you hold the funds in there until you are 59 and a half years old. If you do not, you may face some fees, penalties, and taxes. So you'll probably only want to be using one of these accounts if you know you're investing for the long term. Then with your margin account, you can actually borrow money from M1. This is called M1 Borrow, and they'll allow you to borrow against your portfolio value and invest that into more shares if you would like to do so. This is obviously a little bit more risky because you're now using someone else's money to invest with. You have to pay interest on that money. And if it goes down in value, you may face what is called a margin call. So you'll definitely want to be careful if you do decide to pursue margin. Now, a couple of the features that make this really attractive for longer term investors. First off, you've got your fractional shares. So instead of having to buy a full share of Amazon, which currently trades for upwards of $3,000, you can buy as small as one ten thousandth of a share, which would equate to about 30 cents worth of Amazon stock. So you can start off very, very small with these larger companies, which means that you can put really as many things as you want into your investment pie, start off with only maybe a hundred bucks and really get exposure to a lot of different assets. On top of that, they've also got a dividend reinvestment plan. So this allows you to take the dividends that your stocks pay. And instead of just holding those as cash, you can reinvest them back into your entire portfolio. It spreads it out across your portfolio and allows your money to continue working for you. So you don't just have this pile of cash sitting on the sidelines that's not really doing anything for you. Beyond that, on the M1 Finance platform, you're able to either build out your investment pie yourself, or you can select from over 30 expert built pies. These include things like target date funds, socially responsible investing, and a lot of different ways for you to allocate your money in a way that is totally passive. You don't have to build the thing. It's already built for you. You just put your money into it and you forget about it. It's, it's also 100% free to use these expert pies. They do not charge you any kind of management fee or anything like that in order to use them. Now, I did mention this is all free, and that is true, but there is an optional $125 per year subscription called M1 Plus that you can choose to enroll in if the features do make sense for you. Some of the top features you get with this M1 Plus subscription are a second trading window per day. So on the normal M1 Finance free subscription, what you're basically getting is all of your trades are placed once per day. So there's a morning trading window where all of your trades are going to be placed. You can't day trade on M1 Finance. It's just one trade per day. With M1 Plus, they're giving you a second window in the afternoon. So you can have potentially two transactions per day 
one in the morning and one in the afternoon. On top of that, you're getting lower margin rates on that money that you can borrow from M1 Finance that we talked about earlier. At the moment, it drops your rates from 3.5% all the way down to 2% for that M1 borrow, which are some pretty low rates if you ask me. You're also able to get a cash back debit card and a checking account that pays you 1% in interest every single year through that M1 Plus subscription, which makes M1 Finance a pretty nice choice. But now let's talk about E-Trade. So in general, E-Trade is going to appeal to an audience of more advanced traders, okay? If you're trying to do any kind of short-term trading, E-Trade is definitely going to be the choice for you because like I mentioned before, you can't really do that on M1 Finance. There's not a lot of tools, data, resources, etc., in order to do active trading. With E-Trade on the other hand, you can absolutely do active trading. That is totally within the realm of the platform. Now, in a nutshell, E-Trade is basically your standard discount online broker, similar to your Fidelity, your Vanguard, things of that nature. E-Trade kind of fits right in with those guys. That means they've got things like commission-free stock, ETF, and options trading. Additionally, on top of that, they've got bonds and futures as well. Those do have commissions associated with them though. So you'll need to watch out for that if you do plan on investing in those asset classes. Additionally, with E-Trade, you're not going to be able to buy fractional shares. So like we mentioned with M1 Finance, you can buy those fractional shares. You could buy 30 cents worth of Amazon stock if you wanted to. With E-Trade, that is not on the table. However, they do have a dividend reinvestment plan that you can choose to take advantage of if you want to. So you can still get fractional shares through that dividend reinvestment plan. Let's say you have some Apple stock. Apple stock pays you a dollar in dividends. You can reinvest that back into Apple stock on E-Trade, but you just can't go out there and buy individual fractional shares on your own. Now, they've also got more educational resources than M1 Finance is going to offer. If you're just getting started with investing and you want some kind of knowledge resources to get you going, E-Trade can offer you those. Additionally, they can offer you what's called paper trading. So this allows you to do simulated trading with fake money. So they'll give you some fake money to go out there and mess around with, practice buying and selling on the platform and just try out your trading strategies without any real money on the line. This can be really effective for you if you're just getting started, just want to dip your toes into the water without risking any of your hard earned cash. That can be a great option for you as well. Also with E-Trade, you are getting access to managed accounts. So if you want kind of a robo advisor or someone to manage your account for you, E-Trade does offer this for a fee. So kind of similar to your M1 Finance Expert Pies, those aren't going to be tailored to your personal situation. With your E-Trade managed account, that will be tailored to your personal situation. And as such, they're going to be charging you a fee for for that service. So all in all, beginner investors are probably going to have an easier time getting started with M1 Finance just due to the set it and forget it nature of the platform and how much simpler the interface is. However, active investors are probably going to have a much better experience with E-Trade and those that are looking for a broker with a time tested record behind it are probably going to lean towards E-Trade more than they would M1 Finance. But both platforms do have the same SIPC insurance on them. So your money is going to be protected either way you go. On top of that, both platforms are free. So it doesn't hurt to sign up for both. Get your free $30 from M1 Finance down below and figure out which one you like better. Maybe you want to use both of them. Personally, I use M1 Finance along with a number of other brokerages, so you can totally have multiple different accounts. Not a problem at all. Now, if you want to learn more about these two apps, this video kind of just scratches the surface. We have a full comprehensive article on our website, investingsimple.com, that really dives even deeper into this comparison. If you want to find that, the easiest way to do so is to head on over to Google, search for M1 Finance versus E-Trade, and then click on the link for investingsimple.com. We'll see you over there.